today we will discuss about that is a weaker access privilege in overriding so what is weaker access it is not allowed weaker access privilege weaker access privilege is not allowed in overriding before understanding the weaker access privilege you must need to understand the hierarchy of the all the access specified so the first low level access privilege is known as a private access specifier private access specifier is accessible within class only so private is accessible but it is within the class only by default access specifier is known as a default if you are not writing anything then it is a default and default access specifier is accessible within package and another access specifier is there it is known as a protected protected is the access specifier which is accessible outside package it means that you can say it is accessible in different package but within subclass only it means inheritance is required if it is a different package and if it is a protected access specifier another access specifier is there and it is known as a public public means it is accessible everywhere so there are four access specifier you can say private is the lowest access privilege it means that the lower accessibility is the private then higher than private is the default it is accessible within package then higher than default is the protected it is accessible outside package also but within subclass only public is the access specifier which is accessible everywhere so if i want to say a order of the accessibility then you can say private has the lowest accessibility and public has the highest accessibility now what is weaker access privilege in overriding in overriding weaker is not allowed it means that for example if one class that is a which has the function and the function is for example void display now if you are not writing any privilege over here it means if you are not writing any access specifier then by default it is a default now i have one more class and that is b which extends from a now what is overriding the same function name with the same type signature available in the child so if you are writing void display over here then it is a overriding now what is weaker access weaker access means by default the access specifier is default so here in overriding of the child you can write either default or higher than the default it means in overriding access specifier over here you can write default protected or public but you cannot write a private over here why because child must have the access specifier which is greater than or equal to access specifier available in the parent so parent has the default so child can have either default or protected or public but child cannot write the private it means weaker than parent is not allowed in a child suppose if this access specifier in class a is protected suppose if it is a protected then child can write here either protected or public it means access specifier higher than the parent is allowed 
but excess specifier weaker than the parent is not allowed. Let me show you the same thing practically in Java. Now, here I just want to declare a one class that is A. And I'm just declaring here one function that is void show. Now, here I'm just writing the message that is system.out.println and you can write the message that is is show. Now, I have one more class that is B which extends from A. Now, same function name available in the parent, the same function name with the same type signature available in the child, it is known as a method over writing. Now, you can say it is a B is so. Yes, it is correct. But weaker access privilege is not allowed. It means here the privilege is default. So, default is allowed. Even you can write higher than default also. For example, if you write here protected, then also it's fine. Let me create here one class that is test demo one. Let me write public static void main. Let me create here instance of a equal to new a. You can call a dot show. And here you can point to b and you can call a dot show. So let me save this. Let me compile here that is Java C test demo one dot Java and let me run Java test demo one. Here you can see that I can access both the function using the instance of the parent. It means method overriding is working fine. So higher privilege then the father is allowed over here. But if you write here private, if you write here private, then you will get an error. And the error will be what? That is, you are trying to access the weaker than the father. Father did this default, so you cannot make it private. Now, if father is making here that is protected, then you cannot make it default. I cannot make it here default. If you write like this, then also you will get an error that the weaker access privilege is not allowed. So what can I write here? I can write here either protected, either protected or I can write here that is public. So I cannot write the weaker than the father, but I can write the higher than the father. You can say if a father is declared with the default, then I can write either default protected or public. If father having the access specifier protected, then I can write protected or public. But if father have the public, then I have to make it public only. I cannot write any of this. Why? Because weaker than the father is not allowed. So if father is writing here that is public, then overriding method must have the only one access specifier and that is public only. If you compile this, then you will get an error. Weaker access privilege. You cannot write even protected over here. Then also you will get an error. You have to write the public over here. If you write the public, then it's fine. It means that weaker access privilege is not allowed in the child than the father. So we can say that weaker access privilege is not allowed in the child class than the father. If a father says it is a protected, then child can write either protected or public. If father say public, then child can write public. So in short, you can say child can write the access specifier that is greater than or equal to than the father. If a father is not writing any access specifier, then by default it is a default. And if father is not writing any access specifier, then child can write default protected or public. So child cannot write here that is private, right? So you can say that in overriding weaker access privilege than the father is not allowed in Java.